It really would be impossible to understate the historical significance of what happened today. A notable day in Cook County as multiple murder convictions get overturned. They're all tied to a disgraced former Chicago police detective. Sally Schulze has more on the people who have been fighting for decades to clear their names. All of you guys have been exonerated. Yeah. Show your hands. Yeah. Show that you're here. Their numbers keep growing. Former prisoners now exonerated. I did several years on death row for a crime I didn't commit. I stay strong. Marilyn Malero served 28 God, years. You know, She's the first woman to be exonerated, yeah. connected to ex-Chicago police detective Reynaldo Guevara. The Cook County State's Attorney says his misconduct meant they could no longer stand by seven convictions overturned Tuesday morning. That includes Nelson Gonzalez, who struggled to speak about all he missed while locked up for 22 years. My father lost his life. Not only a voice for me, but for many other gentlemen that was released, the first batch that was released. More than two dozen convictions linked to Guevara had been overturned earlier, with lawyers working these cases for two decades. Acknowledge these human beings who have suffered with so much dignity and so much integrity. I'm here to thank Kim Fox for doing the right thing, and I have a message to Kim Fox. More. This is just the beginning. After the court hearing, Freddy Gonzalez walked out of prison. He was arrested in 1990. His daughter was three. Now a grown woman, she's planned his welcome home party. We are really excited. We have a party planned for him, and he just can't wait to get home. He was going to do a life sentence, so there was no chance for him coming out. State's attorney Kim Fox says this was a necessary step to right the wrongs of the past. Her office expects to clear more cases linked to Guevara in the coming weeks. Sally Schulze, Fox 32, Chicago.